Wow, this is cool! Hey! Hey, you! You, the adept rogue! Yeah, you! I'm talking to you! So, I take it this is your first time playing this game? Yeah, I just finished installing it to my PC. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh. All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Shortmail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. Alright, so let's open the menu. Press the triangle button to open it. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. Choose our names from this list and then press the X button. Okay. Honored to lend you my sword. Okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. 
players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose Warp Menu. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the Chaos Gate. These words Determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. Alright, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Choose Courageous from your stock. Okay, now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. Alright, then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. So... We've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout. Go ahead and press the select button on the controller. This is the area map. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. First, let's take a look at what our mission is. Go ahead and press the X button. This is our mission. Missions are big. It looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. 
The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. These are the altar icons. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Now, this is the icon for the Beast Temple, which is our final destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way! Wait up, Asta! You forgot one more thing! Okay, this time let's really get going. Mm. If you're unsure where the Beast Temple or the Altars are, just press the select button to check the map. Nice! We found an altar already. I don't like the looks of this. Oh man, you're not too good at this, are you? Well, now that they've found us, let's do this thing. Once the battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. The way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. Hey, you're not too bad. Not so difficult, huh? Fighting like that.
All right, we found another altar. I'll teach you about using skills to attack. Combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. Do you see the four panels? Press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Now try it out by using the arts, Gale Blade. Alright, perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Aren't you forgetting something important, EO-10? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? <laughs> Press the R1 button to use the skill trigger now. There you go. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? That's a good idea. All right, Haseo. It's all up to you now.
Awesome job! All right, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position just like we taught you. Statue of Fulset, the God of Law. We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game's story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the Beast Statue. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. Sure. Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. Thanks. Items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it, an idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. Hey, hold on! I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all, this is my reward! How pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you expect from a noob who's just logged in for the first time? Oh, come on, say something already. Hello. <laughs> I swear, just pretend to be their friend. They fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> Hey, you're still around, aren't you? Huh? What the? Mia. 
Surprised, I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. Here, let me apologize. So just take it easy, calm down, and die! <laughs> Do you know Triedge? What did you say? He's a legendary PK shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. Those old forum fairy tales. So, 
You think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? <laughs> Yeah, I think I can. So it's you. You, the character that stinks of death. The terror of death. You're the PKK, Haseo. Players who kill other players are disgraceful. And I agree it's terrible how PKs can just strut around the world so easily these days. But is it right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them? I don't have time for this. Not now. You have no authority, and it earns you nothing. So why? I am the leader of Moon Tree's Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki, and I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. Did you say Moon Tree? What's that? The name of a guild? <laughs> Sorry, Sakaki, but I've already got enough friends. Thanks. Atali, do you know this person? Uh, no. Atali. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters in an online game like this. <laughs> just a case of mistaken identity. Hey you, why don't you just... Huh? A text message. Delta Hidden Forbidden Waterfall. Waiting at R.K. Kelm. But who sent it? Uh. Ovan! Just hold on a moment. Why don't you stop acting like a complete fool? Remember what you PKKs are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves! It's been a long time, Haseo. Or maybe I should call you the Terror of Death. You've gotten quite strong, a lot stronger than you were back then. Well, I was forced to become stronger, thanks to you. You, where have you been? Haseo, always the reliable one. I knew I could count on you. 
when the Twilight Brigade broke up. Why didn't you come then? What have you been doing the last six months? I was busy. It was such a small seed. I needed to find out what was growing inside. And there was only one way to find out. That's why I decided to raise it. You raised it? What are you talking about, Ovan? I'm speaking figuratively. When you suddenly disappeared, we all just... Why did you disappear like that? After that, Shino... Haseo, do you want to know about Tri-Edge? Wait, you know Tri-Edge? Six months now, and Shino hasn't come back to the world since Tri-Edge killed her. Meanwhile, the real-life Shino is lying in a coma, and no one seems to know the reason why. Tri-Edge, he is not a normal PK. So you knew about Shino? Yes, but that's all that I know. But if you were able to find Triage, you might learn something about Shino's coma. You may also learn more about what really happened that day. And if you were somehow able to defeat Triage, then maybe Shino would come out of the coma. If my information is correct, he will be back today. The scene of the crime. The scene of the crime? You mean... Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. The place where Shino was killed. The Holy Ground's Cathedral. Yes, finally! I'll get my chance! I swear I'll bring Shino back! I'll do it, Ovan! Yes. You and I, we're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. <laughs> Ovan? I'll meet you at the Holy Ground. There are some things I must do. He will be back today, at the scene of the crime. Triage is coming here! Edge? 
are you? This guy killed Shino. It's not over yet! Fighting Triage, but then... Damn it, I can't remember. Huh? I don't remember doing that. Reformatted? What's going on? What about my emails? Never delete these. They're all gone. Even the emails I got from Shino. going on an email fine let's take a look should know better, Ovan. I'm gonna go back to the world. And then... I'm gonna get Shino back, no matter what!